the Kansas Press Association. It is now 10 o'clock uh, Central Time and 9 o'clock um, for the rest of everybody. Um, so I wanted to take a minute and just welcome everybody to this convention that's happening now. Um, and I'm going to introduce Matt with Our Hometown, and he is going to talk about um, podcasting. So go ahead, Matt. Great. Thank you so much, Amber. And again, I really just want to thank you and uh, both the Kansas Press and the Colorado Press Associations for putting this together. Uh, you guys, I, I only heard from you a couple of weeks ago, and uh, all of a sudden you got this great conference put together, a full lineup. So uh, really impressed by that and happy to be a part of this and uh, to support your associations. Um, so today we're going to be talking about automated podcasting with audio articles. And in case you can't tell, this is totally live, not pre-recorded. So you can ask questions throughout, make comments. I'm really interested in everyone's feedback. Anything uh, that you have to say about this, I'd love to hear it because you know these things are still evolving, these products. It's a relatively new feature for us, and we're trying to get it out there and, and get a lot of feedback. So uh, and again, my name is Matt Larson. I'm the president and CEO of our hometown. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, we're going to kind of work up to this. I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm going to kind of make the argument for getting into podcasting, why you should think about doing that. Uh, but also I want to, you know, introduce you to this feature that we've developed called audio articles, which automatically turns your newspaper website into a podcast. And if we go over uh, to our friends at nna.org, they're running a video for us on the front page that I think does a nice job of capturing, uh, you know, the, I guess, the goal of this thing and, and the opportunity. So I'd like to show you that video really quick. Um, Amber, just speak up if you don't hear any audio, but you should be able to hear it from the beginning. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and make this full screen and play it. The modern person is mobile bound, multitasking, and always on the go. They don't have the time to sit down with a newspaper or even focus on a screen long enough to consume the local news. With over 60% of the United States listening to online audio every week, more people are tuning into podcasts as their preferred method of obtaining news and information. Many publishers have shied away from podcasting because of production costs. But what if creating a podcast for your newspaper could be completely automated? Introducing Audio Articles Podcast from our hometown. Now any publisher can have their website text converted to audio and fed to every major podcast app. Make your local news easy to access as a podcast playlist, which you can also embed on your website. Contact us at our-hometown.com slash newspaper podcast. Okay, so that is what we're going to be working toward here. I'll, I'll explain that feature in much more detail uh, towards the end of the presentation, but there's a lot more to talk about before we get there. So um, let's get back into the slideshow here. So anyone on this webinar today, you know, obviously has an interest in podcasting. Uh, so, you know, what we're going to cover today uh, in basically the next probably 45 minutes tops, 30 to 45 minutes, um, why you should get into podcasting. I'm sure everyone has their own reasons. Maybe you personally listen to podcasts or you're aware of the numbers, but we're going to go over what, what is the current audience uh, for podcasting in the U.S.? What's that opportunity? Uh, what are the advertising trends? You know, so is there money moving into this space? Uh, and we'll see that there is. But um, also, I want to address some of the barriers to entry that a lot of people may have already encountered if you've tried to start a podcast. Uh, these are, you know, mainly issues with the production. Um, so, you know, you would just want to kind of be realistic about these things, I guess. Um, so I just want to address those up front. And then also, I just want to explain how our system of automating the process of production is the solution in our minds, you know, um, because the thing is, you can always add the manually produced episodes between the automated, but you got to have that flow of content. It's like if you have a podcast channel that's updated once a month, it's like updating your website once a month. We've got to update it constantly to grow that audience. And the only way to you know sustainably do that, we believe, is through automation. So that's why we developed the tool. So now, if we could get some participation here from our audience, I'd love to hear... Uh, who you all are. So if you could just type your name, the paper you're with, 
and what your experience is with audio podcasting, if you've done anything with it, if it's just something, you know, you're interested in personally, um, or, or, you know, what your experience is there. I'd love to hear that just for a little bit of context so I can speak more specifically. Okay. Now, as you tell me about you all, I'd love to tell you a little bit about us, just some background on the company, our hometown. We manage hundreds of newspaper websites and native apps across North America. And uh, we do it on a WordPress-based platform, which has been customized for news publishers. So right out of the gate, it's a, a turnkey setup. You don't need to figure out all the plugins and how they work together. It's, it's a platform. So software as a service, essentially. Um, we're a family business founded in upstate New York in 1997. And our number one priority has always been customer support. So that's really reflected in uh, our main offering, which is uh, to convert the newspaper PDF to an HTML website. But we do a lot of other things. We have other services and features, and the platform is constantly evolving based on publisher feedback. So that's why I love these virtual conferences. I love hearing the ideas on how to make things better or even you know, what features do you need that, that don't exist today because uh, you, know, you all are the ones using the platform. And so um, obviously that's where the ideas come from. Now, before we get into this, I want to, wow, look at great participation. This is really impressive. Um, we're getting a lot of people. Welcome, Barbara, from uh, the Mountain Ear. Um, and then Amber with KPA, welcome. Uh, wow, Kansas News Podcast. Amber, we should talk about you just using audio articles because we could just plug it into your site. You know, whatever articles you write on, for, about Kansas News would be in the podcast. Summit Daily News. Welcome. I have produced a podcast for my previous job, but haven't at Summit Daily yet because of the time it takes to produce. Of course, uh, I I don't blame you at all. I mean, I've I've tried to do it myself manually, and it it's really tough. So we have a podcast, Barbara. Um, started January one. Very cool. What's the name of that, Barbara? I'd love to check it out and just subscribe and listen to some episodes to hear your format on that one. Uh, Lindsay Young. Wow. Look at this co-publisher, um, Harvey County now in Newton, Kansas, no podcast dot, dot, dot yet. All right. I like the uh, optimism there. We'll make it happen. Um, so th this, this session may end up taking the 45 minutes because this is great participation, but you know what, this is what the live webinars are about. I mean, th this is why we do this. So um, Linda Denning, Ellsworth County Independent Reporter. We like the idea of having a podcast. However, the time is a huge issue because of the small staff. Of course, every newspaper is facing that issue. It's like, it seems like every year there's a new thing that we got to do that's invented, you know, by these uh, tech wizards that uh, now we got to do more work. Let's see if we can automate it and then it would make sense to do it. That's my perspective. Hannah Harn, reporter at the Arc Valley Voice. I've produced a number of podcasts before, both new and news and non-news. Uh, we will be establishing our podcasting in the fall. Okay, it sounds like a lot of people are have podcasting in their vision and in the the plan. So, you know, I definitely want to talk to you guys about getting this off the ground. Uh, you know, possibly by supplementing it with the automated feed. Um, Dan David Seaton, uh, publisher Crowley. Courier Traveler, just interested in the topic. Welcome, David. Thank you for your interest. Terry House. Terry, I remember you uh, from Pagosa Springs Sun. Welcome. No podcast here to learn more. Great to see you again. Uh, Ashley uh, Hedjek, um, still a college student, but going to intern for the Holyoke Enterprise uh, later this summer. Would love to implement a podcast section to their newspaper. So yeah, absolutely. If you've got the interest, I mean, that's the first thing you got to have. You got to have the interest and the passion and maybe listen to podcasts yourself. So you kind of know how to talk the talk. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know a lot of publishers that have started their podcast and they do like one episode a week and that is outstanding. Um, but then they, they supplement it and they have episodes every day with audio articles. So a link to our podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Barbara. I will check this out after this session. Hey, Terry. Okay, great. I think that's all our feedback for now. Um, keep it coming as we go. Let's just start by asking the basic question here, because it's not a dumb question. What is a podcast? I mean, you know, I hear about this thing that's blowing up, but if we just boil it down uh, at its most basic level, it's just an audio program. Uh, and I would add on to that. It's, it's one that you can specifically subscribe to on your smartphone. 
So it's it's really it's not something that is uh, consumed on a desktop. You know, uh, I don't think anyone really does that. It's a smartphone experience, and mobile is where it's at. Obviously, if if you're looking at your stats, uh, if you're paying attention to your stats, you, you know that uh, pretty much every market is majority mobile now. So the nice thing about this is it's similar to talk radio, which you know obviously uh, there's a huge demand for that, but. I mean, this is on demand talk radio. So you can go, you know, to your specific show, listen to any episode at any time. You can re listen to things. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just a better uh, user experience than radio, clearly. Um, content is presented as a playlist on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. So I would just say it needs to be in a playlist. That's part of the definition of a podcast. So uh, we'll talk about how we weren't doing that at first, but then we eventually made that leap. Um, okay. Audio market continues to grow. So this is talking about what is the opportunity out there? Uh, well, the number that I have is, uh, you know, and this isn't the most up-to-date it's continually growing. Uh, but 60% of the U S population listens to online audio each week. I believe this study was released, uh, in January this year. So 60% on a weekly basis. And I like that stat because it, it's easy to compare to us. A lot of you um, are maybe weekly newspapers. So if you think of it that way, people tuning into your paper every week, 60% of the US tunes into audio. So then uh, what this study showed, and I'll give you the link to it, it, was there was a steady growth last year in 2020, despite the loss in commute times. A lot of people thought that listening would go down, but it actually went up 28% between January and April, right? As you know, everybody was quarantined and stuck inside, they were actually listening more. And then a 51% increase from January to September. So it continued to grow uh, throughout uh, third quarter there. And uh, you know, we, we continue to see these numbers go up. So the most exciting thing about these reports that I saw was that, you know, this is, this is obviously a huge industry, but news is actually the biggest of the genres in podcasting in terms of impressions. And so if anyone's interested in this um, research, I can provide links. Um, just shoot me an email. I'm going to respond and just put that out there right now for everyone. And, you know, if you want to learn more about anything that we're talking about today, just uh, that's my email. You can go to ourhometown.com and learn about it there. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll have other opportunities for, for links uh, for you to contact us later. Um, now, the advertiser perspective. This is what excites me. Uh, podcasts now represent 19% of digital audio buys. And since COVID, this is... Very good. 64% of advertisers are spending more or the same in podcasts. So it's either steady or increasing and not going down, which is obviously not the case with most digital advertising formats. 78% um, of respondents are currently monetizing their podcast content. So th these were interviews with podcast hosts and the majority are you know getting sponsors to pay them to do either a host read ad or a, a pre-roll ad and 50% of them are doing them through um, those, those types of monetization. I think that you hear um, kind of more traditional radio ads on the really big podcasts like the wall street journal or the New York times, their podcasts, but you know, most hosts are just going to, if you listen to them, you know, they just read them halfway through and in different spots in the presentation. Okay, so that's all that information is at the AdsWiz podcast trends report. Okay, and now again, to address the publisher perspective, you all reiterated this in your comments, but audio content is expensive to produce. So, it, you know, whether you want to hire someone to do it or you want to do it yourself, it's, it's costing you something. There's a, an opportunity cost there. So then the, the main issue that I see is that it requires experience and, and expertise with audio recording and editing. And uh, it really, I mean, here's, here's the kicker. I mean, it could take a long time to grow the audience, uh, the audio audience to a level that you can really monetize. So like, it's just about keeping it sustainable. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. Uh, you know, you could, if you get really into the idea and go all in and, and produce an episode every day for a month, that's probably not ideal. You, you want something that's going to be more sustainable. So you just want to, I think, going into it, kind of uh, set the expectation right. 
But um, anyway, these are all barriers that I see from the publisher's perspective. And so the solution that we see is to automate the audio content production. And this is possible today with uh, technology that exists and it's super realistic. It sounds like a real person reading it. It's not like a robot. And we're gonna hear some examples, but we're doing this with our, a tool that we call audio articles that we've developed and it uh, exists on our WordPress site. But as we'll talk about, we can actually integrate with third party sites through an RSS feed and give you a podcast without you using our system for your whole website. But I'll get to that in a minute. What Audio Articles does, and, and I'm just going to talk about it as if you were on our platform, it's going to automatically convert every article published on the website into a mini podcast. And we have, from the beginning, you know, recognized that you know, advertisers are going to want some kind of sponsorship in here. So we have developed the Audio Ads tool. So you can basically type in your advertiser message, and it will insert it at the beginning of every audio article. Now, what makes it a podcast is to turn it into the playlist that can be subscribed to on the phone, remember? So the first iteration of audio articles was just art articles that you could listen to on, on the article level. So you had a player that you could play that one story. And that was great, you know, fantastic for uh, better accessibility and, and just uh, more multimedia uh, formats. But, you know, you listen to that story and then it ends and, and then you, that's it. So what we realized is that it needed to be in a playlist so you could just hit play and listen to the whole newspaper front to back, or you could jump around between different stories in the playlist, just like you do when you're browsing a newspaper. And so the individual audio articles are arranged as a playlist now, and we can embed the playlist on our websites and at the same time syndicate them uh, all the episodes across uh, the most popular podcast apps, including Apple, Google, and Spotify. And another way that you could monetize this that I honestly, I, I haven't really seen anyone doing this yet, but it, you know, it's just, it's possible uh, given the technology. If you wrote a sponsored content article or like a native advertising article, then it would just turn it into an audio episode and it, you know, it would just be a sponsored audio episode in your podcast. So that's another way that you could do a more long form sponsorship because the audio ads that play at the beginning, you don't want those more than five or 10 seconds. But if you want to you know, do a more in-depth look at an advertiser, you could do it with um, a sponsored audio article. Okay. Um, now, automated audio content, just to tell you a little bit more about um, this, uh, we recently had a podcast interview with editor and publisher. I'm sure you all have heard of them. Uh, they're doing this awesome podcast series now where they're interviewing tons of uh, people in the industry. And we were on it. You can watch it at uh, ourhometown.com slash virtual conferences. But in that session, we presented two case studies that I want to go through. Uh, one was with Guy Rodgenson, uh, the executive editor of signalsaz.com, which is a digital only publication in Arizona. Uh, he was the first to adopt the audio article technology and monetize it with an audio ad. So he was you know, paying for our <laughs> services. Um, Oh, I, I think we got some people maybe not on mute, just so you know, I'm kind of hearing some like breathing noises. So just check your mute uh, really quick, um, if you don't mind. Then um, oh, we also talked with Kristen Weaver, the director of operations at wilsoncountynews.com. Now she is a more traditional newspaper and uh, one that I think you all could relate to very well. Uh, so she's a weekly print newspaper from Texas. And she actually came up with this really creative program that combines her Facebook live show, which she does once a week with audio articles. So one advertiser buys that package and they get all this, uh, you know, premium um, exclusive exposure, you know, on these new multimedia news formats. So uh, she's getting a lot of interest there. And she was the first to actually have the idea to um, automatically create a podcast from these files because we were creating them and then they were sitting on the website on those individual articles. But, uh, you know, again, we get this feedback from our publishers. We just said, why don't we string this together into a playlist on um, the apps? So we just figured out the API to get them into the, the, um, the different apps for the podcast. So you can hear, you know, the whole breakdown with them. Um, and I think actually I'm going to step out here. Let me just ch check ahead. Yeah, this is where we're at. So we're going to take a second here and look at some actual examples of what we've been talking about this whole time. So let's go to um, 
Well, the two case studies page, sure, let's start here. So I'm going to actually drop this link in the chat, okay, for you all, because this is where you're going to sign up if you're interested in learning more about our hometown, learning more about podcasts, or even getting podcasts on your current website. Uh, you can sign up through this form here at the bottom of this page. But uh, this is kind of like my go-to product page. So let me, uh, we got a couple videos here, but let's take a look at the case study from the Wilson County News. So this kind of explains it all in one nice page, but we're going to go through and look at live examples. Here is where the playlist appears on the article level. This is what the, or the player, sorry, the single article player. Then this is the playlist, which can be embedded anywhere on the site. And then these are the different podcast links. So let's go to their website. And if I take a look at the home page, you can see that we've got audio editions right here. So you can call it whatever you want. Uh, you know, I, I think this is a, a great way to explain it to the reader. You know, so this is the edition in audio form. Um, but this is getting great engagement, you know, thousands of plays every month, uh, just on this player and not including the article level and also on the podcast apps. Um, so, okay. We got a question from Taylor and I want to address it right now. It will come up in a little bit, but, um, I'm probably jumping ahead here, but how much does audio articles cost? Does ad revenue usually cancel out the cost at some point? Uh, so, for everyone on the call, I don't think we have any customers on the call today. So the, the feature is uh, $99 a month for you to have this on your website. And that's going to be for 2 million characters transcribed every month. So that is more than enough for any weekly. Some dailies, you might start to hit the limit there. And then, you know, we can talk about uh, what it would cost beyond that. But we're talking under $100 a month. And these publishers are selling these sponsorships for between six and a thousand dollars a month uh, last that I heard. And I know that they were planning to increase their rates. So they're definitely covering their costs um, for pretty much the year in the first month. Um, so let's see now, what was I going to show you? Okay. I, I think I'll show you, uh, I'll just play this so you can see how it behaves. So the user is just going to hit play and it's going to play one episode after another, but we'll just listen to this first one on Wyatt Hoover. Audio articles on Wilson County News made possible by C Street Gift Shop and Boutique, located in downtown Floresville. So that was the audio ad. Okay, now th here's the headline and story. Wyatt Hoover takes first at Meet of Champions. On May 15th, Potts Wyatt Hoover competed in the Meet of Champions at Antonian High School. This is a meet for all the state track champions and for those few that can meet a standard. Hoover was able to enter the 2000 meter steeplechase. The event has four barriers to jump with one of those being a water jump. He had never run this race before. He was able to finish first. His time was 6 colon 13.06. Okay, so that is just a sample. I, I guess it was a sports story. So, um, you know, this is going to be just a, a mix of all your categories, but, you know, we can do things like create category-specific podcasts just as easily because it's all through an RSS feed. As long as the category is defined in the feed, then we can create any number of channels. You're welcome, Taylor. No problem. Just definitely contact me at that link if you want to try it out. Um, I didn't mention we're going to do a free 30-day trial for everyone at the conference today just for being a member of the Colorado and Kansas Press. So uh, if you want to try it out, absolutely no obligation for 30 days, um, but I'll, I'll talk about that more in a minute. Now, I don't know if I'm logged into this site, so I may be locked out. Hold on. Okay, we're good. So now this is an article. And uh, this is an article player. So this is, I, I just want you to see how it behaves. It's, it's pretty straightforward, but this is going to be uh, just one episode that you can listen to. And each article, you know, is about one to two minutes. They're all very short and digestible. So it's, it's easy to um, just kind of dip in and check it out. It's not like a, an hour long podcast, like you see with a lot of people. So let's just take a look at it. This is also going to be the female voice. We've got different voices, different accents that you can choose from. Uh, but this is the article player. Audio articles on Wilson County News made possible by C Street Gift Shop and Boutique, located in downtown Floresville, George C. Blanche. On Monday, May 10, 2021, George C. Blanche, beloved father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, went to be with his father in heaven. George was born February 18, 1938, in Hampshire, Texas, to Robert Lee and Mary Louise Deaton. 
Okay, so that is your article player. Now let's get back to here. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you about Wilson County is they are on Apple Podcasts. I mentioned that earlier, but this is what it will look like. Now, most people aren't going to really go to this page to subscribe to their podcast. Again, they would do it through their phone, but this is what they're going to see when they go to the podcast app is a show that's presented just like any other podcast show. They can subscribe to it. And the cool thing about this is once they subscribe, then they're going to get notifications when you publish new episodes. So it's, it's a push notification. It's in this kind of environment that they are used to responding to. You know, they subscribe to other shows and they go into the app when they get the notification. So you would be part of this, uh, you know, new type of uh, communication. Um, and I just think it's really exciting because, I, you know, some people just prefer audio. And like we saw in the video at the beginning, People are just on the go all the time. So if we can just not only be mobile, but you know, exist in a format that they can consume while they're driving or running or uh, whatever, um, that's obviously going to enhance the brand and it's going to get the information to them is the bottom line. So that is Wilson County. I want to show you a really quick uh, Signals AZ. They've got a very similar uh, format, but they, they do have a different player that they're using. So let's look at their homepage. Uh, these are all options, um, but they are actually putting the featured image right into that player, which I think is nice. And it's setting us up for some uh, exciting new things that we're working on for the next generation of this stuff. Um, I can't really talk about it too much right now, but pay attention and you know we'll, we'll definitely uh, be announcing that soon. Um, in fact, everyone here should subscribe to the Our Hometown newsletter if you go to ourhometown.com because then uh, we'll continue giving you updates as these things evolve. Uh, we're planning a lot of product releases for the next couple months related to this. Okay, so stop me at any time with questions, but here it is. This is uh, the slide I was talking about earlier. So we've pretty much already given this all away, but I'll just explain it again. We can give this to you without switching to our WordPress platform. And we're happy to do that. Just you know, we, want, we want to get this idea out there in any way that we can. So we developed it as uh, something that you, you could do through RSS feed. You would just continue publishing articles on your current website. And if the RSS feed is, is set up to go to our system, then every time you publish one of those articles, it'll automatically instantly be turned into an audio story, audio article, and then it will be sent to all the podcast apps. And at the same time, we can send it to that embeddable player. And that's how you can have this on your website. We don't have a way to do the individual article players on third-party sites yet, but we do have that playlist, which honestly is the best thing about it, in my opinion. I think that's what you want. Uh, if you had to choose between the article player and the playlist, you'd want the playlist. So you can get that. It's just $99 a month. And again, three, uh, 30 day free trial for conference attendees. Just contact us at this link. Again, that was in the chat earlier. And, um, you know, just mention that you were at the, the association conference. I'll probably see your name on the attendee list too. Okay. So we're at 1130. So if you all are still interested, I have more material. Uh, I'd love to present for another 15 minutes and then we'll give you all a break before the next session. But I have pretty much covered the automated articles, uh, audio articles um, portion. So if you have any questions, this is your last chance to get them in the next few minutes. So as I uh, monitor the chat, just make sure you put them in the chat area. I don't know if anyone's been putting stuff in the q and I don't even know if there is a Q&A here. So anyway, let's just use the chat. Um, now, this is just a quick thing just related to our company, just to, to kind of take a step back again and look at our hometown. We've got this uh, amazing partnership with Kevin Slimp, who's going to be presenting at the conference, I believe, tomorrow. I'm really excited to see his session. He is a fantastic teacher, and uh, we sponsor his uh, monthly uh, webinars, and he covers all kinds of Adobe topics, Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, InDesign, and these are all completely free to our hometown customers. So if there's anyone on the call today that is interested in you know, learning more about our hometown, our platform, audio articles, if you become a customer of our hometown, then you have unlimited access to Kevin's sessions. You can invite as many of your staff as you want, and we do these once a month again. So um, 
if anyone, you know, again, wants to learn more about audio articles, you, you would, you know, become a customer that way. Or if you're interested in a prototype of your website or, or of your paper on our system, on our WordPress platform, uh, we're happy to do a completely free prototype. And just so that you understand how we work, we would actually do a prototype for you as part of the audio articles process. That's uh, as a third party, that's how we process the, uh, um, the audio files. But Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're at all interested in working together, um, I can get you some free tickets. Uh, you know, even if you're a prospective customer, I can get you a ticket or two to Kevin's next session in June. Now we got a question from Taylor again. Thank you. Um, can we do a mix of audio articles and self-produced playlists? Yes. Sometimes we do one off audio clips from in-depth series for articles on the same topic. Great question. I actually, I think that's why I put this uh, link in here because I wanted to show you that the, the Wilson County News does exactly that. So you are gonna, just a, a little bit more background again, we're using a system called Buzzsprout to send the episodes to the podcast and you fully control that account. So you can put your own manually produced episodes in there between our audio articles. My, our audio articles are just going to feed in there and then you could upload at the same time. And then it would appear in sequence with the audio. So the answer is just, yes, you can do both. And I, I really recommend that. Cause like, like you said, you, you might have some interest in, in certain articles, uh, you know, every month that really need that audio component. There's some type of audio clip that's related to the story. Um, you know, that, that would fit right into this. But if you don't have the audience and if you're not regularly publishing and, and building those subscribers, then no one's going to hear anything that you put out there. So that's the idea there. Great question, Taylor. Thank you. Okay, just a couple other uh, notes here just so that you know what we work on. I mean, ever since the, the, uh, the pandemic, um, we have ramped up our virtual conferences. We're doing um, at least once or twice a month now. We've got an upcoming one with America's newspapers and the online media campus on using automation to increase revenue and engagement. So this is going to be like a, a kind of even bigger step back. I mean, we today we looked in depth at automating audio, but uh, in this session on June 4th, we're going to look at all the opportunities for automation. And so as was commented several times again in the chat with resources stretched thinner than ever. It's never been more important for newsrooms to focus on automation wherever it's possible. And so in this session, I'm going to talk about some of the turnkey ways that our publishers are automating their marketing, either on social media, their newsletter marketing, and also multimedia content creation on our WordPress platform. And you can learn more about this session at newspapers.org. Okay, and this is basically the topics that we're going to cover in this session. Um, auto renewing subscriptions. And now I know I'm going off topic here. We're not talking audio at all again, uh, but I hope that this is still useful. Now let's, let's, I'm actually curious. Can we do a quick poll? I'd love to hear from Taylor and some of the other folks that have been more uh, active in the chat and, and certainly anyone that hasn't spoken up yet. Of these items, are you doing any of these? Uh, have you tried uh, to implement any of these to, uh, pathways for automation? Number one, automating your subscription renewal. To me, this is a complete no-brainer at this point. And I'd love, uh, no offense to anyone that's not doing it, but like, why wouldn't you do this? Unless it's just a technical issue that you cannot really, you cannot make it happen on your website. That would be the only reason. I, I have yet to hear. Uh, an argument against this, especially considered considering it's you know widely used by every other digital content licensing or you know subscription service like Netflix and all those, um, it's it's accepted in the culture. So great, we got some feedback here from Hannah. I don't think we yes Hannah, thank you. Uh, so we have newsletters. Now I would want ask you, are they automated, the newsletters, or do you have to manually put those together every time you send them out? Related stories, excellent. I would love to hear more about that. Related stories at the bottom of your articles is how we present them. So you get to the bottom of a story and it suggests an article that's related to the current one. Um, that's, that's a great way to drive engagement. Uh, social media marketing. So you are doing social media marketing or are you automating it? Because there's some ways that we can automate those steps. 
Okay, thank you for that feedback. Um, now, we got only a few minutes left. You know, I kind of set this presentation up so I could go longer or shorter. Uh, let me see here. Um, so, so, okay, let's just talk about this one last event before I lose everyone. <laughs> uh, I want you to hear about this. This is exciting. We're going to be talking to editor and publisher again in uh, at the end of June, I believe, um, on digital subscriptions for free print newspapers. So another poll question to throw it in there if you if you haven't had enough. Who here has a uh, a paywall on their website and they're free in print? I would love to hear if anyone is trying that because we are seeing more and more publishers doing that and they're being much more successful than they expected, the publishers. They're, they're honestly surprised at the number of people that are willing to pay for online access, unlimited to all their archives, even though they're free in print. They, uh, you know, the value of the the online edition is is so high that they're they're actually generating significant subscription revenue uh, when they never have before. It, they've been, always been free in print. So we're going to talk on June 24th. Uh, we're going to talk to two publishers for free print newspapers that launch successful paywalls on their site. We're going to learn the details behind their metered model and promotional strategy. So in this. In these answers, I'm seeing no paywalls. So I don't know, uh, Taylor and Barbara, do you have a paid print product or is it free in print? Because that's a very different situation in my mind. Uh, basically, I'm advocating, uh, in my experience, and, and what we consider to be the future of the industry is going to be paid reader revenue, paid content. So, you know, e regardless of what your print model is, we think the website should be paid is the bottom line uh, at some level, you know, because you can give away as much as you want. You can give away categories. You can have a metered model where they get a couple of free stories a, a, a month. And, you know, that's going to take care of the complainers that don't want to pay for anything, but want to get everything free. Uh, so that'll kind of take care of them. But then the people that are really engaged that want to actually read you every day and, uh, you know, get all your stories, they're going to run out of that meter and they will pay. So, I mean, uh, I appreciate this feedback uh, we're getting here. Amber, this is interesting. Thank you. Uh, it is, it is fascinating. I think this is something that people should be tuning into because um, more and more free print papers are doing it. Now, uh, just to go back a little bit, I think Taylor, just on the newsletter, sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit, but Taylor, um, we have a daily newsletter <clears throat> that I add the day's headlines into manually, but it automatically sends every morning. Now, that's obviously better than having to, to send it off. That's good. That's, that, I'd say that's like level one automation, the ability to schedule a newsletter. Very nice, because then you can set them up uh, you know, whenever it's convenient and then get it out first thing in the morning when people are opening their inbox. But um, we have ways, and there's, there's more ways beyond our system um, you know, with MailChimp, Constant Contact, to automate the, the construction of the newsletter too. Okay, and then Barbara is saying, we have no paywall, would love one, but no funding to take so many of the needed steps. We are subscription-based in print. So, I mean, just I'll get up on my soapbox for a second. I think if you don't have any paywall on your website and you're putting content up there and you're paid in print, you might be just hurting the print subscriptions. You know, that, that's the only thing that you could be doing. I mean, frankly, like because uh, you're training people to expect it for free online. So uh, definitely contact me, Barbara, because that should not be an expensive thing to do. Uh, we could probably get you set up on our platform um, and, and a whole new website for whatever, for less than whatever it is uh, you're thinking your cost might be to retrofit your current site. So anyway, um, we're also going to be talking to the uh, two papers, actually two groups, uh, the Acorn Newspaper Group in uh, Southern California and uh, Chesterfield Observer, both free in print and paid online. Okay. Now I guess for the next five minutes, I think it would make sense for me to just wrap it up here. Uh, you know, continue to open it up to questions. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just throw them in there, and uh, I'll answer them either in the chat or I'll jump on and and answer them uh, on here with the video. But what I want to do now 
is just kind of like have some exit music <laughs> for you guys. You can uh, tune out if you've heard enough. But I think uh, I, I'll just spend the next few minutes here showing you more examples. So this is the Our Hometown News Podcast. This is our podcast. So we use the same publishing tools that you know our publishers use. We use it for our um, content marketing. But uh, what I want to show you is this, uh, how some of these come out. And you can hear a little bit more about uh, you know some of our features as we go through this. So this is our podcast channel on um, Apple. And you can open these up and read actually uh, a teaser from the story. You can get the article link. Uh, I believe we can put the full article in here if you want. But, you know, again, with the paywall model, we don't like to do that as much. But, um, you know, so you can kind of read along as you're listening in these podcasts. But let's take a look at um, actually this one from the Journal Trib, some news we got from one of our favorite customers in North Dakota winning uh, the best website competition. JournalTrib.com wins best web. Oh, good. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to demonstrate the male voice too. So this is actually the male voice who's happens to be called Matthew by some weird coincidence. JournalTrib.com wins best website in NDNA Better Newspaper Contest. Our hometown would like to congratulate Cecile Wehrman, president of Journal Publishing, and the rest of her team on taking home the best website award in the large weekly newspaper division of this year's North Dakota Newspaper Association Better Newspaper Contest. Cecile's website, JournalTrib.com, is home to both the Crosby Journal and Tioga Tribune newspapers and provides local and regional news coverage to members of both communities on a weekly basis. This is the second year in a row that they have won the award. Cecile has worked closely with us to enhance the website by providing critical services to readers, such as allowing free access during the height of the COVID-19. Whoop, didn't mean to stop that. Sorry about that. Uh, one other thing I want to show you here is on Spotify, we've also got a show and uh, the thing I like about Spotify is you got the featured image right there. So you can open these up, see the image from the story, open up that full teaser, and then uh, actually Journal access the original article. Best website in NDNA Better Newspaper Content. Like that. Our hometown would like to congratulate Cecile Wehrman, president of Journal Publishing, and the rest of her team on taking home the best website award in the large weekly newspaper division of this year's North Dakota newspaper. All right. So we already heard that. Um, okay, well, I think that is probably all that I want to get into today. I, I kind of was prepared to talk about more of those automation tools, but I think uh, if I were to get into that right now, it would take too long. So I'm going to wrap it up right there and uh, just kind of <laughs> end this. So thank you very much. I don't know if anyone's going to come back on and talk anyone else, but uh, that's all that I've got for you today. So Thank you very much for your attention. I'm going to be talking again right before the three o'clock mountain time session on growing your newsletter. I'm excited about that one. We're going to hear from uh, someone at the Salt Lake City Tribune. I'm actually located in Salt Lake City right now. So, uh, and I, I look forward to hearing them talk about newsletters. Uh, you know what? Since we still, we got still got a bunch of people on here. I'm just going to tell you really quick about my approach to newsletter marketing. Okay. So, the way we look at automating newsletters. So to answer, like to address Taylor's question earlier. Thank you, Hannah. I appreciate you jumping on. Oh, we got some more feedback here. Uh, Lindsay, for our papers, it's free in print. If it's free in print, it's free online. And if it's paid in print, it's paid online. That's good. But I think you, you have a potential opportunity, possible revenue stream that could be significant with those free papers online. Um, you would, I think you would really be surprised. And then uh, Terry, thank you, Terry. So you're saying we're paid print and paywall, over 800 subscriptions through the paywall. Wow, that's really good. Um, so with the newsletter though, a lot of people were commenting about it. They said uh, they're doing the newsletter, they're scheduling it. Uh, and that I would, again, called, call that phase one, sending a regular website update to your paying digital subscribers. Uh, that reinforces the value of your subscription. And it can be done through MailChimp or Constant Contact. But uh, I think phase two, like the, the next level up, is you're going to want to offer a free newsletter sign up to your subscribers. That's going to generate a list of leads. These are people that aren't paying for the subscription. Uh, they're not paying for access, but they want to get your newsletter. So they gave you their email. And uh, you know, so they're in your, your newsletter list. We, we should be sending updates to them every as often as we can, at least once a week to, again, demonstrate the value of becoming a subscriber. 
But then in phase three, if you can automate sending the regular uh, website updates to your digital subscribers, that's just going to save you time. You're not going to need to compose that every day, Taylor. You know, if it could just pull stories that have been published on the website automatically, that would be ideal. And we have WordPress plugins that do that. Um, and then the, the last phase is to turn those leads that we're generating in phase two into paying subscribers. And we can do that through, by automatically sending uh, promotional offers to the non-paying newsletter subscribers. So the system compares you know, your subscription emails, you know, the emails of people that are paying to the emails uh, that just signed up for the free newsletter. And it only sends it to people that are not on the paid list. So then they get like a discount uh, one that I like is, uh, you know, 99 cents for the first month and then it auto renews at the full price, or you could do like the Netflix model free for the first month and auto renews at the, the full price. Um, if anyone has questions about paywalls and getting, getting your paywall to do these things, auto renewal, uh, you know, first month free, those are all possible on WordPress and we have it all set up. So you don't have to figure out anything. You just need to plug in your merchant account. Um, Okay, so yeah, that's that's my last tangent here. Uh, so again, Matt Larson, if anyone's interested in uh, learning about WordPress or audio articles, you can email me or contact us through that form on uh, that link that I posted earlier. So thank you all very much. I appreciate your attention and enjoy the rest of the sessions. Thank you, Matt, for joining us this morning. Again, um, our hometown is one of our premier sponsors this year, and we're super happy to have them. And um, I'm glad that everybody was able to join us this morning. Um, coming up next at the top of the hour, we've got government responses to platform dominance or reporting on race and how we can do a better job in 2021. So again, thank you all. Um, this is just the start of a fabulous conference and everybody have a great day. Talk to you later. Thank you, Amber. Appreciate you. Take care.